Alright, I'm back. We're going to continue Eagle Tower, and I have a good idea of what to do. First off, I'm going to be the mini boss what I hate with a burning passion, because it's a tougher version of, you guessed it, Cyclops. The reason he's tough is because if you fall, go ahead and hit him as much as, remember, don't worry about anything else but hitting him as much, wow, I, you know, he has about two more hits, not eight, but ten. And just hit him as fast as you can. You might get one grab, but the main thing you gotta know is that as long don't fall. Because remember, if you fall, it's gonna reset the whole fight. It's like like the worm, but with the worst mini boss I can think of. Okay, let's do this. Another one of these. I guess there's one more. We're gonna do heart, I guess. Heart. Heart. There we go. And there is something. That's actually I don't even know if that's a key. I just know that's useful, particularly for getting across, which is really cool. Now we're back over here, which is really cool. We're going to go this way. Of course, of course I can't just go up. This will literally take us to the top. I'm going to unlock this so I have a path, because you're going to need it to where the red is up and then you can come across, but not right yet, of course, but just, oh, dang, why did I do that? Okay. Now. Okay, this is the third floor. It's not as big, and we're here specifically to fight the mini boss, actually. And I think to get the big key. And I'm the mini boss, if you haven't, I will tell you the next. Pretty much every mini boss we fought in the game so far, I hate to say, other than the Master Stalfos, that was a special one because he kept running away. We're gonna fight again before the end of the game. The Dodongos, the Goma. I mean, every single one you can think about, other than this one here. And the true, what I like to call the true mini boss of Dungeon 8. Because Dungeon 8 has, if this is the most puzzling dungeon, it has the most combat oriented dungeon. You have almost like six or seven mini bosses in that dungeon and with the big boss at the end. So, yeah. Here is the mini boss. And he's very special to this dungeon. I, 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 I didn't say anything, but I, I, I guess I have to. Oh. It's got the boys. Oh man, it's the boys. Okay. So the trick of the boys is you have to beat them all in one go or it doesn't work. So attack as fast as you can. Really, really fast. Oh, I might actually do it. Yes! That wasn't too bad. Believe it or not, if you don't do it, he'll just summon them back in different patterns. So but if you're really good, you can time your attacks and hit them as they come at you because you can't hit them until they come at you. And then, uh, but I just spammed it. But you want to get in a corner or a direction where they'll all come at you in one direction. Yeah, I, I mean, if you weren't a nightmare, and if you weren't trying to take over this whole island, I, we might be able to come to an impasse. But then again, I have to get off the island, so. Oh, alright. See, you don't actually fight the mini-boss yet. You fight his minions, his best friends. But he's got one more bigger friend, and that's going to actually be the boss. So get ready for that. And you can pretty much guess who that is. It, it, it's not, it's not, not rocket science, you know. Get all of us away. Now, obviously something's supposed to appear here. And if it's anything like all the other block puzzles, we gotta put them together. So, push this one. And push this one. And it becomes a rectangle. And there we go. That's why we came up here. I don't think there's much more we can do till we knock the tower down because the left side of here leads to the boss but we can't even go there without like a lot of stuff like right up there well this whole dang that is it's weird you'll see right now let's hit that i i think mm, maybe not i don't think i should hit that just yet because we can't go out of course go this way and that's also a quick like fast travel back to the bottom Come to think of it, I kind of do need a key. Is there anything we can get this way? Mm, no, we can't go. We can't go right because the floor isn't isn't down. All right, hold up. Mm, it can't hurt. I want. I want to get that key at the bottom left at the beginning. So I'm gonna do something real quick. Um, I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna just go go down. I guess. All right. I actually come to think of it, it's right here. This is why, right here. That's why there's this pit, and I'm wrong. Never mind. 
I was hoping to, of course, land over on that one. But, of course, we don't because I'm, I'm dumb. So, we're going to get back to the beginning. And then that way I can uh, have to go around. Ah. Ah. Wait a minute. The blue are down. I can actually go a bit faster. Hold on. Go this way. I need the red down, but we're gonna go around a long way to get it. Just remember that one uh, place over to the right. Okay. Oh! Oh ho! I didn't think about that earlier, but see? Now we're here. And there's rather a rupee or the key. There's two, you know, two chests on both ends of here. And one's the rupee and one's a key. So let's check which one this is. Yes! That is what I'm talking about, guys. We need that key. I know it doesn't seem like we need it just yet, but we do. Okay, we got that out of the way. I really want to go and get that red one. Right now, we should probably just uh, worry about going around here. We got the boss key. It's already good to get that out of the way. Go down this way. Go this way. We need to get over there, and there's a way to get there, but you got to go all the way around. So just give it a second to get over there. And I have the key. I I don't think there's an ever key. No. Um. How many more doors we got? Because we can actually check that by going. Mm, it doesn't show us the doors till we get. Dang. Until we unlock the see the room, we can't really check how many doors are left. What we need to unlock. Be in here. This is not a key, but we do need to survive the tiles. So get in this corner or any corner. Just be in a corner and just swing your sword as fast as you can. I would have preferred to kill the fire guy real quick before you did this, but either way it works. Swing mean, as fast as you can, you should be good. Keep going, keep going, there you go. Now we go in here, and now we already got the ball here, which is great. Bam. Alright, that's good. Okay. And see, see this weird fire? You can't really check, but it's actually a bomb of the wall. And you saw earlier what, I was, what you probably know about. But to see, whenever, remember, whenever there's two fires next to each other, think about it for a second. I want to go over here. And now, we got to get it over there, right? And yes, there's another bomb of the wall. This is the path we couldn't really get by. And now. All right. What am I doing wrong? I gotta... Okay, hold up a second. We gotta get over there. So we gotta get the ball over all the way over there. First, I'm gonna go ahead and open that chest because I don't remember what's exactly over there. But we need to get the ball where those guys are so we can throw it across, kind of, to get it over there. And then we're done with the ball. Don't worry about keeping it later. We'll be done with it once we get it across. The matter of fact is, is how do, how do we get it across? Oh man, this is not good. All right, hold up. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm just actually dumb. Hold on a second. Let's go ahead up here. Get back. It's it's really simple. I just go around. No, oh, wait a minute. Can't go around a long way because that room's kind of oh. Silly me. I'm sorry. Okay. This doesn't lock again because we've already survived it once. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and push this out of the way, right? Then we go back. We want to get it. We got to go all the way around, of course. Because our main goal is to get that ball over there, okay? And I could have done this earlier, but it, it would have made things even more hard to remember and confusing. So, it's good to get this out of the way now. Why, wow, we already got that one. All right. Go across. Walk. Go ahead and move that. Get that. Now we go over here. And as you can see, we're on this side. Throw it. Okay, now it's over there. We're good. And I, what you could do if you didn't have a dungeon lock is, you know, the, the, the teleport, you know, from a mini boss. You could just go all the way around and go away from there. But what I'm going to do is make a quicker way. Go down here. Go through the little thing we got for beating the mini boss, which will take us right back up to the third floor. And the ball is still going to be down there. As you can see, back here. Once we get this ball puzzle done, I'm going to end the video because this is actually a great place to end it, of course. And it's just down. No, but we can, of course, 
Ooh, can we drop? That's actually a good question. Ooh. Well, don't worry about it, because there's actually a switch over here. I completely forgot there's a switch up here. This is actually a saving grace. This is great. Aha! And now, we go back the way we're going. Don't drop down, because we'll be in the wrong area. We just want to go down those stairs. And then, over here. And then we get this. And then we go over here. And we're going to throw this across, alright? Yeah! Alright. And now the rest is simple. We just go around the way we went. And uh, we're going to... You know what? I'll end the video now. Because I feel like we are ending very close. Because once we hit that thing, something cool is going to happen to the entire tower. So I kind of want to keep that here. We'll literally start the next video with it. Alright? I'll see you guys later. Bye.